you hear about the guy who got arrested for stealing mortadella, provolone, salami, mm -mm. and other meats? Mm -mm. Yeah, he was arrested for a deli crime. Intros get worse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction unit. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, 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 Instagram, Twitter, 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 Follow some of the person YouTube channels links in the description. Today we are reacting to a uh, song this is called Suede's A Journey of Self Discovery. Uh, so we've reacted to a couple of videos from this channel. Uh, the the actors one, uh, the, yeah. what, the anatomy of an actor, right? And then uh, the the behind the scenes of um, um, uh, gangs, gangs, gangs of Wasserpuss. Yes. So this is Suede, A Journey of Self Discovery. Um, so this is the whole. SRK Sweat Ash Journey. Oh my stars. Just read this, this is a very, very long thing. No, just redo this up to here. This video explores how Ashutosh Gawarkar, our director, explored servant leader characteristics, a term coined by Robert K. Greenleaf in 1970. Yeah, if you don't know the term servant leadership, it's, very, it's batted around a lot within, uh, anyway. Uh, in Shah Rukh Khan's uh, character in this movie. It shows how SRK discovers himself in the course of this movie and becomes a servant leader from just being a leader. And servant leadership is a really common theme throughout a lot of the Protestant church, and I'm sure within the Catholic church in terms of true leadership is servant leadership, not just dictatorial pontification, but leading by example. So... And uh, we've liked the other two videos we've seen from this channel, so uh, they, they very much don't depth. They seem to like cinema a lot, and we liked Swades a lot. Yes. Outside of the ending, I preferred it to end a different way. Yeah, I, I <laughs> didn't. I liked it. <laughs> but here we go. As the Indian population grew in the West, a new market to sell Hindi movies opened up. This led to a flurry of movies that played on the themes of nostalgia, preservation of Indian culture. The emotional return to the motherland. Oh, and Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> a lot of Shah Rukh Khan. But it's made in the same way, present a similar emotion in disparate narrative. Loosely adapted from the stories of Bapu Kuti, so this resembles that of Gandhi's early life. In fact, the character Mohan is named after Gandhi himself. Interesting. Also, both of them study outside India, both go through a personal change after returning that's to India, like and eventually devote themselves in welfare the of Indian people. That's, that's interesting. So this may be categorized amongst the very few subjective Hindi films. The film follows the plot, but the story is told from Mohan's point of view. Hence, to understand film's narrative, structure, and flow, we have to understand the character's motive and how his quest to reunite with his past evolves into a journey of self-discovery, with him becoming a servant leader. Servant leadership is a leadership philosophy presented by Robert Greenleaf in an essay called The Servant as Leader. Traditional leadership evolves in accumulation and exercise of power by one at the top of the pyramid. By comparison, the servant leader shares power push the need of others first and help people develop and perform as highly as possible. Menu. According to Greenleaf, there are two extremes of leaders, servant first and leader first. Ooh. Between them, there are shadings and blends that are part of the infinite variety of human nature. When we meet Mohan, he is a project manager in NASA, a more leader first. He is haunted by the guilt over his inability to take care of his childhood nanny. He sets out to correct his mistake and travel to India to bring her back to the US. In India, Mohan is looked up as a guest from a foreign nation an outsider who once was an Indian. This is reflected in this scene when he is reminded of his nationality. And again during this scene. Gowarikar portrays rural Indians as upholding a hierarchical understanding of leadership. There are moments in the film demonstrating the traditional view that the members of the highest class have an obligation to live up to their status by leading. 
राय जी मैं ब्राह्मण तो वही तरह आचरण करना किसी को Mohan's transformation from a hierarchical leader to a servant leader challenges his own and the village's perception of leadership. During one conversation, he is questioned about racial and economic injustice in the U.S. उन नस्लों को तकलीफ पहुंचा रहे हैं जो बाहर से आकर बसते हैं। देखिए कुछ कुछ बात बेड हैं कहाँ नहीं होते? At the same time, he becomes increasingly aware of the oppressive gender and caste system at work. Mohan condemns these traditional practices as backwards. But then is questioned over his own right to criticize. Even Gita is quick to challenge Mohan's right to judge Indian people over their lack of progress. यहाँ पर कुछ बदलने वाला नहीं है। लोग लोग बदलना ही नहीं चाहते। कितना आसान है गलतियाँ निकालना। तुम इन सब के लिए कुछ कर रहे हो? नहीं। Throughout the movie, the characters are involved in a conflict where the validity of traditional values in a local context go head to head with the contemporary values in a global context. Mohan realizes that if he has to achieve his intended motivations. Then he has to let go of his hostile and judgmental views of Indian social order, at least temporarily. So, for purely selfish reasons, he decides to help Pita recruit students for her school and mend his relationship with her. This is the first time Mohan displays the characteristic of a servant leader, that is healing and awareness, more specifically self-awareness. As the movie progresses, Mohan displays more and more servant leader characteristics, such as listening, persuasion, and community building. The turning point in Mohan's personal journey comes when he is sent to collect the rent from Haridas. Haridas laments the devastation in his life caused by the drought on the one hand and by the rejection of the community on the other. After listening to the misery he has been and his inability to feed his children and pay rent, Mohan cannot hide the empathy he feels towards Haridas. He is visibly disturbed and deeply moved by this encounter. A farmer who lives as an outcast in his own community, Mohan treats him with a great deal of compassion and gentleness. By sending Mohan on this journey, Kaveri Amma plants an important seed of self-doubt in Mohan's mind towards his own purpose in India and his personal growth. Mr. Fitpachanta. In the subsequent confrontation with the village elders, Mohan engages in an inner struggle over the meaning of misery and injustice he has witnessed. वो अपने परिवार को दो वक्त की रोटी नहीं दे सकते। अपने बच्चों को शिक्षा नहीं दे सकते। उसे भूख से मरता हुआ देख सकते हैं। During another power shutdown, Mohan accuses villagers for their attitude of living in the dark, both literally and metaphorically. With the help of villagers, he decides to build a hydropower plant that will generate electricity for the entire village. This is a key event where Mohan is finally transformed from a judgmental outsider to a productive member of the community and a servant leader. His efforts empower the villagers and help them take their needs in their own hands. But this personal transformation comes at a personal cost. Both Kaveri Amma and Geeta, whom he eventually falls in love with, refuse to leave the village, and Mohan returns to the United States alone. He is now haunted by the images of time he spent back in Charanpur, stirring an inner struggle to the point where he decides to leave the already successful and comfortable life in the U.S. and return to India. So this depicts a transformative journey in a story that is profound in its humanity. It deals with themes of social injustice. social change and personal transformation Kovarika uses water and light as metaphors for unifying human needs technology and nature for unifying global perspectives with local but the film is hardly free of flaws so this suffers mostly due to its inconsistent pacing the misplacement of certain songs certainly doesn't help cinematography at times feels sluggish the subplot involving mohan falling in love with geeta does more harm to its narrative focus than good And for the movie set in early 2000, some of the dialogues sound straight from the 80s melodrama. But in our home, the women don't have to work outside. But despite its technical downside, Swadesh flourishes due to its strong focus on characterization. Just like Govarika's previous film Lagan, Swadesh tells the story of good triumphing over evil. This time, however, evil has no face, but is equated with a regressive ideology. The enemy lies within, in the form of passive acceptance of injustice by those who suffer it. and ignored by those who witness it Mohan Bhargav helped the villagers of Charanpur in identifying this enemy teaching them to fight it while at the same time learning from them how to fight the enemy within himself I don't think the aim of the movie was to lure and arise back to India with the bait of nostalgia Gorika did want to engage them in a dialogue where they were forced to rethink the notion of a good life 
but at no point in the movie Gowarikar argues that serving the nation of your origin should be the only way of living a good fulfilled life. Neither is he using Mohan's decision to come back to India as a shaming device. In a country where we are delusional to his greatness, so they tried to give a reality check. Yeah. Nahi nahi manta hamara desh duniya ka sabse mahan desh. In a time when Hindi movies are consumed and forgotten in no time, Sudesh has managed to stay relevant for a lot of Indian audience. This goes to show the values Mohan fights in the film are still lurking under our collective consciousness. Maybe then it is time to shed the role of a passive judgmental consumer and become an active contributor. Hmm. What do you think? No, I like I, I like his narration. I think he especially coming from an Uh, it's obviously different coming from us. Yeah. Stuff that we would appreciate about the film of is course. different than somebody who's native to India right. and knows all the cultural nuances that, that the film was trying to say, whereas we are just looking at mostly as like a, a film right. that's more teaching as opposed to um, us imposing uh, what we think the film is telling. Even though we do pick up on some stuff, we're not going to pick up as much as no. a native indie. No, and I, I too, I, I agree. The majority of the stuff that he was pointing out um i i thought was very insightful mm -hmm. and on the money yeah um my you know my i my only disagreement is uh i first of all i think <laughs> i think the songs were great uh, <laughs> oh, i think they're great, great. Song. yeah and i think the love uh, i don't th i don't think that the love story was a distraction i think the love story is an, is the essential mm. i i think love i don't think he comes to the realizations that he articulated here mm -hmm. Unless he falls in love, he falls in love. Gotcha. I think the love he has for her, and what she allows him, I don't think he would have been teachable by her or anyone else in that village if he hadn't allowed his heart to open up through love. I don't think he would have loved that man mm. if he hadn't first felt the love he had for her. Mm -hmm. And I think the love for her is the door that opened up everything: the love of the people, the love of India. Uh, realizing he wasn't doing a job that he loved, which is why it makes his saying goodbye at the end and her giving him that representative box of everything that he has found he loves. She's she's the fulcrum. She's the reason I think he finds that. I don't think she's an ancillary side story that's just there to give you some kind of romantic thrill. I think it's freaking foundational. <laughs> There's some debate. <laughs> I can't remember. It's been so long since I watched it. I remember I wanted it to end when he was driving away. I think that's what I said. When But he left India. I think. Yeah, I yeah, think, and I didn't. I needed him to come back. I think that's what I wanted. I think I was like, I. Life happens. Yeah, <laughs> I know you wanted that. It end up happening. End up, no, I, I needed him to go back to the woman he loves and the place that was home and get back to him pursuing what really matters in life, not the ideal he had when he was a young man and was like, I'm going to leave India and I'm going to go get this career and I'm going to make money. He was alone yeah. and empty pursuing all of that. And she got him reconnected to all the things that really mattered in life. Not just for him. I absolutely agree. This thing will stand the, the test of time because it's universal. It already has. It's yeah, been it's, like, what, it's, 30 years now almost? It, it, it's speaking about the universal experience of people and universal truth of what, what really matters. It's why it is for me, I mean, my favorite performance of his is uh, My Name is Khan. Yeah. But and my favorite film of his is is this one. I have to think. Yeah, it's it's this one for me. Um, I know you don't like it that much. Dev Das is really high for me. <laughs> um, but this is, if one, someone was to say to me, you know, my favorite acting, to, to look at his acting chops, it's, my name is Khan. But, but as far as my favorite has, film, the one I would watch over and over again. The movie has a, more flaws in my name is Khan than, this movie. than this one. Yeah. yeah, my name is Khan has more flaws. Has more flaws, correct. Than this film has. Correct. Um, but this film's also, I believe, a lot longer. Well, it's, it's like director, hours, right? the director of Lagan. What do you expect? It's like three hours, right? Yeah. What I remember? Yeah. Um, but yeah, great analysis. Like this very good lot. analysis. Uh, I would love. It'd be interesting because I've, I've always people have asked like, so would you ever like collaborate with other people? I would actually love to in in some of our views actually have an Indian with us. I would too. That that can one give us a different perspective, and also we can see because like, obviously, in, like we said, a native Indian will pick up so many things that us I, as an American won't that we have not grown up with. And I would love it regionally too, because yeah. for example, like I, 
if Indrani was here, yeah, she's an Indian woman, yeah, but she's Bengali, yeah. So her perspective and her life experience is definitively Bengali Indian, yeah, versus somebody who came from South India, yeah, or from the North, yeah. You know, somebody who's who has seen life through the eyes of Assam mm -hmm. is not gonna be the same as someone who saw it over in uh, Rogers. You know, you name the place. Yeah. So, yeah. Really cool. Uh, let us know what other videos we should react to down below. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>